Hi, I'm John Garuti, Southwest Florida Realtor. So I made this video for you, the future homeowner here in Babcock Ranch, so you can better understand the HOA fees and how much it costs to live here on a monthly basis. I'm going to go ahead now and share my screen. All right, so the first place you're going to want to go to is BabcockRanchLiving.com. This is the HOA site for the town here. You're going to scroll over here to the menu option of Helpful Documents and come down here to Assessments. And under Assessments, you should find an updated schedule of residential fees. So we're going to open up the 2020 fees, and here we go. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to point out, on the left here, you're going to see these uh, these are neighborhoods, Lake Timber, Lake Babcock Central, Lake Babcock North South, Trails Edge, Parkside Babcock National. So all these are various communities or neighborhoods found here within the town of Babcock Ranch. So there are different fee schedules and, and those apply based on your type of house and the amount of footage you have or the width of your property. So if you look here under Lake Timber, you see alley 50 so there are some sections within lake timber where homes have an alleyway behind them where the garages are so if you have one of those homes with the 50 uh you know 50 feet of road frontage or 60 feet this is the cot or the row that you're going to use so uh let's go through just this a, a little bit a little bit more so we've got alley homes sfh that stands for single family family homes we also have villas. So villas are a little bit unique to Trails Edge. A villa is a side-by-side -side home. You have an attached home. Now, as you scroll down, you're going to see Villa Point 2, SFH, SFH Point 2. So this correlates to Phase 2. Trails Edge is actually uh, wrapping up Phase 2 right now as of August 2020. In September, from what I was told, they're going to start selling Phase 3. So you can expect Phase 3 to have perhaps a little bit different fees. Um, and then Parkside, that's a, a Pulte neighborhood, and then Babcock National. Babcock National does have condos, it has coach homes, and it also has single family homes. So next thing we're gonna go over is what happens within each one of these columns. So you've got the master fee. This is the master HO fee. This goes to the community, right? It goes to the Founder Square, all the all the work that's done there, all the all the um, you know trails we have here, everything that's shared by the community. The master fee goes towards that. Now, one of the great things with Babcock Ranch is everybody gets internet with their HOA, and it's not only internet; it's high speed internet, one gigabyte. Uh, I get amazing speeds here at my house. I have my TVs directly hooked up into the, uh, the, the Ethernet plugs, cables. So I get about 500 megabytes per second on my TV, up to 550. Even in my Wi-Fi, I get speeds of up to 300 uh, megabytes per second. So that's such an amazing thing to have as part of an HOA. So now service area. This is something that differs by neighborhood. This is actually lawn care. So depending where you are, you may not have lawn care or you may have. Uh, I personally, I'm here in Trails Edge in phase two, so I am paying for lawn care uh, on a monthly basis through my HOA, which is nice. Now, some other neighborhoods, again, they don't get lawn care. That's something that you're gonna have to pay for on your own once you move in. The environmental fee, this is just a, a standard tax that everybody gets. So all this combined, you'll see the monthly total. Um, you know, most people are paying, you're either paying in about a dollar, $140 per month, or you're around $250 per month right now, as of August, 2020. Um, the fees can and do, and probably will change in the future. So don't bake on those, these numbers holding true forever. Uh, one thing I did want to point out is that if you move into Babcock National, which is all in R, uh, that is our gated private golf course here. You will have an additional HOA fee associated with Babcock National. So this $137 you see, this is really for the town. 
On top of that, at Babcock National, you're going to pay an, an additional $640 a month, I believe, roughly. So that goes for your golf membership. That goes for your, uh, you do get lawn care in, in Babcock National, and it goes for all the private amenities that neighborhood is going to have. Eventually, they're going to be building a clubhouse, a pool, tennis courts, pickleball courts. So just keep that in mind. Um, we have another community as well coming called Edgewater. This is going to be a private gated community uh, with Pulte. So the fees there, I heard, are going to be about $340 a month. Um, it's uh, it's going to include the lawn care, the internet, your master HOA fee, but there's another $90 or so added on there because it is going to be a private community within the town of Babcock Ranch here. I hope you found this video useful. If you're looking for the link to the HOA fee, you can find it below in the description. And if you need help finding the perfect home in Babcock Ranch or you have any questions about living in the ranch, please feel free to contact me. I live here, I know it inside out, and it'd be my pleasure to help you find your dream home. Um, feel free to give me a call, 941-916-289, or shoot me an email, jg3realestate at gmail.com, or simply just comment below in the video and I will get that answer over to you right away.